Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 130 of Wool is the Answers Woolly Ramblings with Marie and Dominique. Together, what well, is the answer? We are. We're here. And oh. it is Friday, the 29th of July. No, I can't believe we're nearly in August. No, mm. it has blown. It's absolutely, absolutely blown. You know what they say as you get older, the time passes quicker, but flipping heck, it just seems to be whizzing by. I mean, like I said on Wednesday, all the nights are drawing in. You are first here, Claire. Hello. Um, my eyes are so sore today. It's stinging like mad. I think I might have got some cream in them or something. Driving me potty. Hello, everybody. Right, there we are. I'm yeah, there. You're, allowed to, you're allowed to shout when you're first. Absolutely. You're allowed to shout. You won the gold medal. For yeah. The Witter Commonwealth Games. You, you, you got gold, Lisa got silver, and Victoria got the bronze all the way from the US of A. The co- in the countryside. In countryside. Well, we're here. I feel a bit oh, uh, today. We were just talking about that yesterday, weren't we? I said I'd just all week I felt a bit. Uh, I think it's like you say, I think it's definitely the weather. It is definitely the weather because wow. it's so dull and overcast all day. But as soon as you do anything, like I've been in the shed most of the afternoon, oh my goodness me, it's warm. It's so warm. It is, it's just muggy and it feels a bit oppressive, doesn't it? But anyway, we, we're here, we're here, we're here. We are here. Good afternoon, everybody. Right, I think I'm there. Right, let me just put the screen onto full so I don't have to peer as much. There we go. Now, we've already said we may have some technical, we've been talking, we might have a few technical issues, which it wouldn't be us without them. It's Dominique this time has got a few technical issues. So if My phone is charging, but the charging cable is dodgy. So if I touch anything or move anything, the screen will go blank. Let's see how many times it does it before I just turn my screen off. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I've got show anyway this week, so it's fine. Oh Lord. Um. Well, I have a feeling that it may be a bit short this one. So if there's anybody watching that's got any questions, want to know anything, no, we're not going to tell you what is in the Christmas advent. Because Marjorie's here already. Marjorie has tried already. So you can ask us, but we won't tell you. Apart from it's got wool, it's 1 to 12. And we've not said, we didn't do a post, but it is sold out. We said it would finish on the 31st. Sold out. Sold out. All sold out. In fact... We know who the last person was to buy, and they were extremely lucky because we miscalculated and we sold one more than we should have done. So, yeah. um, so they've gone. They have all gone. They've all so, gone. So ready? all you know is it's wool. The theme is Christmas at the movies, and yeah. you'll get it before the beginning of December. There you go. Yeah. What more do you need to know? You don't need to know any more. But we have had fun today, haven't we? We've been tweaking the final bits and pieces of, of things. So it has been quite fun today. And let's face it, it's August at the weekend, August, September, October, November. You've only got four months and then it's there. So, yeah. A couple of weeks and it'll be Christmas. Caroline, did you survive? You obviously did survive. You just did a lot of steps. Yeah. I did think of you, Caroline, after they were, because the rail strike was on, wasn't it? And then it's like the knock on effect of the next day. So, I did think about you. But yes, anyway, I'm sure you had fun. Right. So, shall we get on with some knitting? Yes. I've got two cast-offs and one cast-on. Oh, well, let's see some of yours, because I've not got anything like that. Right. I have Caroline, found... you ordered one. Caroline, you definitely ordered one. Yes, you did order one. And I'm sure it's the only advent calendar you've advent christmas box you've ordered that's all i'm going to say right yeah. i have finally finished and is off the needles the um 
Trail and Blaze. Trail and Blaze from Olive Tree Knits. So I finally got it off needles. I think I could have probably blocked it a bit more that way. Do you know what I mean? Opened up the lace a bit more. Yeah. But I did it in the window, so that's as much as it's going to get, I'm afraid. But I'm loving the colours. It looks really nice. So that's Trivial Pursuit. And it's yeah. got a real... When you look at it, it does... It on In the ball, it seems very bluey, but when you get it out, it's really, really multicoloured. Well, so, there's six colours in it. Yeah, but you know what I mean? The blue is very dominant when you look at it, but it's surprising, isn't it, at how... Yeah many colours there are in it so that's that's fine and, and I weighed it 94 yes. grams I used 94 yeah 94 grams um there's exactly the same amount of colour of each colour yeah it's weird though isn't it because you do look at it and you think the blue looks dominant so I mean it goes a bit with what I'm, I'm wearing today um although I'm probably not going to sit in that because I'll over combust myself um but it's a really pretty one skein shawl. It's lovely, isn't yeah. it? And I think, like you said, I mean, it does look nice, but I think if you'd have really blocked it, yeah, it, I think it would grow quite a bit more as well. I think it would. I mean, and I might do, I might get, I think I could probably do with the um, the wires to do it properly. Because um, you can see it doesn't look as blocked at the bottom, does it? No, it looks absolutely fine, but I think just with it, it being lacy, it would yeah. really. Yeah, it would. It would grow. It would grow a heck of a lot more. It's obviously, so, been a popular pattern because Marjorie's saying she's just finished hers. Victoria's yeah. casting hers off. Carol got hers off the needle. I, I can't remember now. Yeah. But there's quite a lot of people yeah. have done it, and I do think it is. Yeah, it's for a, a one, one skin. skin. Yeah, for a one skin that you're not sure what to do. Well, you 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 know. So um, I just need to take a photo of it and then put it on social media because obviously it's part of a, a knit along. Um, so yeah, it's got just enough sparkling, perfect. So, um, oh, hang on a minute. And Victoria had said, Victoria said on Wednesday night, she thought she didn't have enough, so she just put a 20 gram mini at the top bit. Yeah. Oh no, Caroline must have finished because Caroline said how much she'd got left. Ah, oh, right, okay. So, yeah but it is it's a nice it's a nice knit it's just a bit fiddly like i said before it's not difficult just a bit fiddly moving your stitch markers all the time when you go from your because the the, sections yeah. It's, yeah it's not difficult it's just you yeah. do have to think oh i need to move my stitch markers now and you have to like be sat with your stitch markers so yes. um yeah but it was it's a lovely one skein shawl to knit so um yes and she'd still got have you um Tagged it. You've tagged her because she was doing a knit along, wasn't she? Yeah, I've just said that. I've just said that. <laughs> it's because I'm trying to read what people were saying about blocking. <laughs> Victoria's just said she's having a really hard time putting it on because of that one really long side. And Caroline said she's open to blocking suggestions for the trail and blaze. Wasn't happy with the way it blocked at first. Is that the it's shape like, then? It's supposed to be in a crescent like in a crescent shape, but I don't like mine anywhere like that. So I did block mine straight and I'm happy with that bit. So I have blocked mine fairly straight in the yeah, that, that's how it's meant to be. It's meant to be an asymmetrical triangle. It is, but this bit here is supposed to be curved. You block, you know, when you pin it and it's supposed to be like that. Right. Rather than straight. On her pictures, that's how she's got it. She tells you to block it in that shape. I'm going to see like how it. people. I like it wear it. it, but oh heck! Um, so I'm happy with that. I'm happy with, it. but I didn't pull it down because I literally did it. Trapped it in the window that way, and then put my pegs on it. And it needed more weight, I think, to pull it to pull it down. So um, I'm just trying to see how other people are wearing. That's why I don't. That's why I would never knit that um, shape. Sure, because I don't like it, because I'm, like, Victor, I can't wear it. You see, it, it's nice because it's not a, it's not a big scarf, do you know what I mean? So it's just like a little, a little bit in, under your jacket. 
Um, yeah, and wear it like a scarf. That's what I think I'll treat mine as more. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I think you could go off. Most people are wearing it kind of, so it's not too deep at the front, but yes. that's how. Yeah, yeah. Because it isn't really deep anywhere. It's not going to be that deep because it's on your one shawl. But I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it again. Let's be honest. I'm not going to do it again. No, but I mean, I don't. They've just gone on the Ravelry project. Look how deep that. Look how much they've blocked that and how big that is. Yeah, it's all perspective, I suppose, on how much you take the photo, isn't it? You know, there you could look at it. Then you could say that's really deep, couldn't you? Hmm. Not really. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, it is what it is. It is yeah. what it is. Yeah, Victoria's going to redo her straight. Yeah. I, I just trapped it in the window and I thought, do you know what? Because if it's got a bit of a curving like that, to me, you never see it. When do you see it? No, not when you wrap it. it. Not when you yeah. just wrap it round yourself. Yeah. What's the point? Life's too yeah. short. Do it straight. Trap it in your window. It's Get a spring. An autumn shawl. You don't when you don't need really lots of warmth. Yes. You just want something round your neck. Eyes. My eyes, my eyes. Anyway, so that's my first cast off. What have you got to tell us about then? Oh, the trouble with doing a garment is that's all you do. So my oh, it's inside out. My summer sorrel. I'm into colour two, and I have split for the sleeves but oh, we're there. I mean the neckline is enormous oh it's really nice oh it is big isn't it it is I mean really big it looks really big and that's without it even being blocked yes it feels enormous it looks like it's going to give a huge amount it's not actually going to give much. There's no stretch because it's an eye cord. No, but I mean, even the bit underneath, like you, that just yeah. looks like it's massive. It is enormous. It is absolutely enormous. How much but, positive ease is there in it? Does it say? I mean. Don't move. Don't move. Don't lose you. Don't lose <laughs> you. How much positive ease is there? It doesn't say, with the finished measurements, it doesn't say how much positive ease there is. <laughs> I did at some point think, I'm just going to stop and rip it out. But then I thought, well, I'm just going to keep going because I don't, have to, I don't have to block it. No, have you tried it on? Yeah, and it's big, but... Um, keeping it looks massive. I've got to sit with it. Does look it is really big, but the fabric's really drapey as well. So I need to get past the bust and just then put it back on because you're trying it on when there's not much. Yeah, you've not got. You've not, I've not got much on, so I need to just keep going and see but I so I've gone from the midnight and I'm now and I am really liking it looks the, lovely the next colour it's noodle soup I said it's not fizz whiz no fizz whiz is at the bottom right um I can't remember what the colourway is called from the noodle soup one it's a sparkle and I mean I never wear sparkle anyway so I don't know why I bought it but I did so, so on. it's too big and you're knitting with sparkle that you never knit anywhere. This um, is destined, this is destined to be doomed. Well, we'll see. We will see. It's really strange because like the transition bits, she must die with the same colour that we use because like the midnight is the, is, is the same because there's some bits and you're like, oh, I've not changed colour. Oh no, it's just because you can't yeah. see it. But that's, that's where we are. That's where we are now. So we are now just going round and round in circles. Because if you pull that front bit, you know where the texture is. There's a heck of a lot of giving that, isn't there? 
Yeah, because it's um oh no, forget just that. Do that with it close up, you know what I mean? Like it just I, I can't because the oh, cable the right, okay. Cable's not but yes, I mean there is a massive amount of stress. The people who've knit that, did yours look like that? Or does Dominic's look a lot bigger? You're on the right knee. That neck looks massive, doesn't it? <laughs> I know Victoria's neck was quite, the neck is quite wide. Yeah. When I put it, I mean, it is still really wide, but actually when you put it on front and back, we'll see. Yeah. I'm just... Um, the colours are lovely. I've got to say the colours are really nice. Victoria's saying she thinks it's about one to two inches positive ease. Yeah, I don't... There's, there's, it doesn't say there's any E, so I think you just knit. But I've, I put it on like three or four cables so I could get it on over my yeah. neck, but that was only like a centimetre after I'd split for the sleeves. <laughs> so it is really... Hard to tell with this. It's difficult. Sherry's is not that wide. It's difficult to try it on when you're still attached. I think I was trying it on when I still got two balls attached. I'm just going to go round and round yeah. and round, and then let's see what happens. Yeah. Like you say, when you get the weight on, it might look a bit different, might not it? Yeah. yeah. But it is now just a case of going round in circles. So um, I've got... Oh, I've got that much midnight left. Yeah. So I could have probably gone slightly longer, but there's not loads left of that. Yeah. Um, and then I just need to keep knitting. I need to decide, because I need to put some sleeves in and I've not got that much of that yeah. left. So I'm going to have to start, I need to weigh it. Yes. I'm going to start the transition into Fizzwiz soon, I think. Because Victoria said she did the size 44 with the bamboo. I mean, you're going to ask me, one, two, three, four. I've done the size, I think I've done 46, which is one size up from Victoria's, and I could get in Victoria's. So mm. the thing is, it's if it's on the large size, it's better than being too small. Yeah. I can always yeah. wear it. Um, you can always give it to me and I'll shrink it for you. Well, I'll wear it, I'm sure. But I just, I mean, I never ever wear something with short sleeves. But I'm going to have to with this. So I might do the sleeves and then keep going till I've run out of the middle one and then go into Fizzwiz because yeah. I'm making it a lot longer. Yes. I, can't, yeah. I think you make it about 13 inches. Well, it needs to be longer than that. So... I want to use as much as I can. Um, but yeah, so that's the summer sorrel. We're just going round and round. And that's it. It's not boring because it's nice and I really like the colours, but there's nothing to it now. Now you yeah. it is just round and round. So um, if I can get another three inches on that by next week, I can try it on properly and let's see. Yeah. Well, Victoria, I, my plan is always to wear the, always to wear a long sleeve tee underneath. Yeah. I would never, ever wear short sleeved jumper. And that would help with the neck as well, if the neck felt too big, wouldn't it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, so. I was thinking of just a plain shirt, like a plain white shirt underneath. Yeah. So, I think it will be fine. Yeah. Um, what size needles? Oh, you see, Sherry did the... I think I... Want. What size needles are you on? Well, the pattern calls for 375s, and I'm on 375s. And you're a loose knitter as well, aren't you? But maybe maybe Sherry swatched. Maybe. What was Victoria's on? Victoria, what did you do your needles, your needles on? What did you knit on? I think Victoria said she followed the pattern. I mean, I could... I could, well, it doesn't matter now. Mm. I could um, see what, the, what my gauge is and see what it should be, but 
If I need to, once I'm past the bust, you I'll can just alter it. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, exactly. And I, I just need plenty of room to get it over my bust. And then it doesn't matter after that. Yeah, yeah Victoria, whatever the pattern says, it's yeah. three seven on the pattern, and that's what I'm doing it on three seven five. Yeah. Um oh. I will later, I will just look and see how far out my gauge is, but it feels, the fabric feels just like Victoria's fabric felt. Yes, yeah. So, um, yeah, hey. see, Jerry's very good. She swatched. I read that. I was just trying to ignore it. I was yeah. just trying to ignore it, the fact she said it's swatched. In fairness, Sherry's fabric, I think, not that I felt it too much because... Oh, no, I did. Cherry wasn't wearing it. I think my, my fabric's definitely looser and Victoria's was looser fabric. Yes. Yeah. Let's see. The worst that can happen is it's going to be big. Yeah, but exactly. Still wear yeah. big. I can't wear small. Big and warm. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well. So that's, because that's all I'm knitting on, really. Yes. So well, I've got another cast off. I think you've gone like I'm all sort of similar colour knitting that I'm showing you. So this I finally finished and they sort of match my top. These are my socks I've finished. Oh yes. So that's the pair of socks. Um but it's weird because I'll, I'll just look in. Like look there, the difference there in that bit, and it's only on that one bit of yarn at the beginning. Yeah, hey, you were saying earlier, yeah. as if Beginning of a, yeah. but not only that, oh, yeah. the coloured, the multicoloured is thicker than anywhere else. Yeah, very strange, very odd. It's as if the skein was a completely different length. Yeah, it is. Weird. That... But anyway, but um, so that's my socks finished. They're the green lampkins, um, lampkin through the snow. I really yeah. like them. Um, I didn't change my needle size in the end. Um, so I just stuck with them. So they were, yeah, they fit nicely, actually. I really, like, I really like them. Yeah. Um, so that's you, another. you would never, ever think from the skein that's what no, I would have to look. Never. And I think I've got enough to make another buy, another, another buy, another pair. So, um, yeah. Well, I'm if really not. Definitely have enough to do shorties, won't you? Yeah, I think I'd probably get enough to make another pair that like that because they're not that yeah. long. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, and I don't like, I never do a long cuff. Yes. So, um, yeah, no. so that's two things I've got cast up, both sparkly. Um, so, at least I've got something to show for this month. I was beginning to panic, I didn't have much to show because I've got my little square as well. I can't remember what else I've cast off this month. I need to go back through my photos. I think I've only got one thing, but yeah, yeah like that. Um, I've been adding to my blanket, but I'm not going to show you that because I think I've probably only added a couple of things because I wanted these finishing. I knew I desperately needed to get those off because they were getting to the point that if I didn't get them finished, you know, I wasn't yeah. going to get anything done. So, um, so yes, that's my two things that are cast off. So... So what have you cast on in the meantime, then? In the meantime, and I blame everybody on knitting that uh, yesterday, I cast on the Back Shore 22 by Alicia Plummer, which is a jumper double knit. Um, and I'm using, I'm using up, I bought ages ago from Beaches and Birdsong to, um, colours in their sale, those two colours, like a peachy colour. So one's called Christmas Cactus, that's Christmas Cactus, and that one is called Oyster Catch, and they've both got peachy colours in there. And I kept them and thought, oh, they'll. I want to put those in something together, because they go, but they don't, you know what I mean? But they've got the same tone, peachy. Yes, yes. So I thought, I'll put them together with that. Yeah. And do three stripes. Yeah. So I am. I've cast it on. So that's the front. Oh, it's a top down. Top down. So that's the front. Obviously, it's got shaping at the back. That ne 
neck looks enormous as well. It's not really because it, it's like a it's like a scoop neck. So it's, right. when you look at it, look, it's like a right. it's like a V neck, but it's like a it's it'll look like that. Do you know? It's like a bit of a scoop neck. Yes. It's not helping because it's bunched up on the needles. Because you look at it there, the actual black bit of the neck's not that. You know, put it into perspective on my neck. It's not. <laughs> it's not that big. You know what I mean? But it does stretch because it does say on the pattern. What we said, it's got four inches of positive ease. So I'm doing the 37 inch size. Um, but it's knitting up really nice, the colours together. So that, doing... that, is that the oyster catcher, that one? Yes. That's really pretty. Yeah, it is really pretty. Um, so I'm nearly finished that, that, um, that colour. So I'll go back onto the midnight again and then um, and then on to the next colour. But it is knitting up really easy because I only cast it on yesterday evening. What size needles? Five. Yeah. I only cast on last night at about six o'clock, I think. And I haven't done a huge amount. And then I've been out all morning. And I've done. I've only done a couple of rows since I came back because I've been busy doing stuff. Um but it is, it's growing. And the nice thing is, it's eyelets. So it's very similar to the um, Rocket T, you know, so eyelets for your raglan sleeve. Yes. Um, and once you've got it sorted, you're just going round and round. Yeah. And although round and round is a bit boring, because it's on big needles, it's growing fast, and I want to get to the next stripe. I was going to say, and it's yeah. stripe. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. Um, yes. So especially now, because you do it flat, it's like the Rocket T. So you do the first bit backwards and forwards and then you join it at the front when you get to the when you get to the narrower bit yes so the first bit was a bit wrong because there was lots of pearls and we all love doing pearl knitting don't we um so now i am literally just going round and round and round and round and round and round and round so but i'm yeah i'm pleased how it's going together and i've had those i must have had those balls of yarn over a year easy and because they double knit they were just sat there but this jumper when you look at the picture, it looks quite drapey and like not a thick woolly. Yeah. Is it short sleeved? No, it's long sleeved. Right. Um, so I think once you once you block it, it's going to be quite drapey and not a really thick jumper. So again, well, it'll be a nice five in, mil, isn't it? So it yeah. is going. Yeah. It'll be a nice autumn, you know, going into autumn jumper. Yes. But yeah, it's growing fairly quick, so I'm cracking on with that. Um, I know I've got a rocket tea to do, but I have got bored with it, I'll be honest, because it is just round and round, same colour, same colour, same colour. Um, but I'll get that finished, because I'm, I'm I'm about three quarters of the way down the body. So yeah. I think I'll probably do a bit of that, a bit of the rocket tea, and see if I can get that done. Yeah. Um, and I think I've got a pair of socks, other pair of socks on the go. But apart from that, I haven't really... I haven't got anything that I want to work on, should I say? Right. Yes. I know. Yeah. I, I know. I have got my Lady Whistle Down jumper. Yeah. That's not good. I, I know. I, I know. I'm going to end up pulling it out and using it for something else because I'm not feeling it. So that will get pulled out. Pull it out. Else, I will. Everything else did get pulled out. But, I mean, a lot of it's done, but I just don't. I don't like it. Don't like it. Don't like it, so that'll get pulled out and turned into something else. Um, I mean, if this jumper, if I like this jumper, because I have got the jumper quantity of it, I might make just a plain drapier jumper in it. It just feels a bit too thick. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know why it is. I just don't, I don't like it. I like the well, one. The I don't. Fabric, you can always block what you've got and see how it blocks. Yeah. Because it, that, that will alter like the shape. I think that's what it is. I don't really like the shape. And blocking's not going to change that, so yeah. rip it. So I need to rip it out. Yeah. So. Yeah, rip it out. And it'll turn into something else that I like. I mean, well, it, there's, the, the thing is, like we found the other day, there's just so many out there. I was going to say, you could just do a mindless knits. Yeah, exactly. But it's just finding what you want and just, it's fine with the shape, isn't it? It's like that rocket tee. I really like that shape for a t-shirt. 
So I know that if I did another T-shirt, I'd probably just do that, maybe change it up. I might even put my own pattern in it. Do you know what I mean? Yes. I feel like the shape. And I'm hoping, because this jumper looks very similar, that it might be the same sort of thing. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. it's when you do find a shape you like, isn't it? Yeah. And then you can, you know, you can change it. You can add a bit of texture to it if you want it. It's finding that shape that fits you. Because I am smallish here. And my little head, do you know what I mean? And yeah. then down to my boobs. So I don't like jumpers that make me feel too big. You know, like the uh, my big thick Christmas jumper, you know, with the where I've got the cabling going down, which is like your um mild mania. What the Sunday cardigan jumper, the Sunday jumper. Oh, yes, yes. For me, there's too much bulk here it's a lovely jumper and i'll wear it because it's a slobby jumper yeah i wouldn't wear it out do you know what i mean it's yeah. i feel like it gives me too much bulk like just here and it i don't like it i feel like an american footballer but as a wearing it over your leggings or you know is a snuggly jumper it's really nice and comfy but it's not a it's not a going out jumper yeah um so yeah, we'll see what this one turns out like. Well, on final needles, it should fly off the... Yeah. But oh, I'm not really happy with that um, lady whistle down all the way along. I've sort of, like, plodded on with it. I love the wool. I really like the wool, but I just... There was just something about it, and that's why I've obviously never finished it. So it shows what... on another rocket tee. It is a lovely shape. It is a really nice T-shirt. Um, yeah. Jerry's just on a roll with her yes. garments at the minute. He is. She's going to have so many garments to show us. Yeah. Oh, dear. But that, that wool I bought from um, uh, for the uh, Lady Whistledown, I got that from Yarndale last year. So that's yeah. how long I've been faffing about with it. Yeah. At nearly a year that I've been knitting that jumper. So it's not going to happen, is it? No. I don't think you cast it on straight away, but it was... It wasn't long afterwards, because I phoned... Because I got two, didn't I? And then I messaged her to say, can I have another one, because I'm going to knit this jumper. Yeah. Um, so it wasn't that long, because I knew I needed to contact her to get the same same colour. Work, colour. So yeah. anyway, we digress. Anybody got any questions? I've got some results for you. Oh, yes, I'd forgotten all about that in your pie chart. Yes. In your mathematical geniusness. I've not, well, because sometimes people want visual, not numbers. I love a pie chart. I also like a... Bar chart. A bar chart. I like a bar chart. I like a coloured bar chart and I like a pie chart. Well, I thought... I, like a, what's, I don't like a graph, to, you know, I don't like a... What you I think... A, for oh, comparison, the pie chart worked better. Oh, I love a pie chart. And it reminds you of food. So, as always, and it always, I always find it fascinating, Facebook and Instagram are normally completely opposites. Yeah. And they were this time. Weird, isn't it? Yes. So, Facebook... Facebook. Not overwhelmingly, but 50% of the Facebook votes went to colour number one. Right. Whereas 75% of the Instagram votes went to colour number three. Wow. It just, but then when you put them together, yeah. One and three were very close. Yes, I thought they would be. I did think there, they would be. Yeah, there was only three or four votes between them two. Number four was not popular. Number two wasn't very popular. And number five was so-so. Yes, which surprised me because I think out of all of them, I think my least favourite because it was, was number five. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that was. We both said the same, didn't we? It was nice, but we, neither of us would have chosen that. So when it kept coming up, I thought, just goes to show, doesn't it? You know, um, how, how everybody looks at things different colours. Yes. 
So, so we- what do we do? Do we do one and three, or do we go with the clear winner? I think we go with the clear winner. We said we were doing one. Let's go with the clear winner. Well, the clear winner is number three. Wow. Which is the green and... The one that I think looks like Christmas. Yeah. Hang on. Let me get a picture, because I'm saying this and... So the number one was the one, the purpley one. Other way around, like then, because oh, we'll go from right to left, yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. But the number one was the purpley one. Yes. And number three was obviously the one in the middle. Well. So that will be, and it's, it's strange because some people said, some people just said one, two, three, four, five, and other people said three, but one's a very close yes. second. One, yes. but it's a very yes. close. And I only took, you know, what, whoever, whatever they said was yes. number one. Yes. So it was, it was really close. But so number three will become a hundred grams. And what we're going to call it, jigsaw number three. I think we call it jigsaw holiday. Yeah. Or I, know jigsaw. Mini, I know that was the mini set that Marjorie won, but yeah, yeah. it's got to have something to do with jigsaws. Yeah, exactly. But, um. Yeah, so it was Facebook, both that voted on Facebook will yeah. not be happy because they wanted number one. Your Instagram voters, that was your overwhelming majority. So it is, it is funny, isn't it? It, it does it, remind us of Christmas. Yes, we bought, yeah, it is really pretty. Open the skit. Have you got it with you there now, Dominic, or not? No, Marjorie's, Marjorie's got, got it. it. What am I saying? Marjorie's got it. I was going to say, yes, it is very Christmassy. It is. Yeah. So it is. But if you get that dyed, then I can get it photoed and on the on the website. Yeah. yeah. You see, but, I like number two actually. The purple and the and the yellow I quite like that because it's something different. Well, you were in a very very. Oh, I know small. I was. I was in a very very. But it, you know, we asked, and you've chosen. Well, it's a little bit of Christmas in July, isn't it? It is. It will just, it will get dyed in July. Yes. So thank you to everyone for voting. I mean, that's not to say I've got all the recipes that, can, that might not, you know, that can make an appearance later in the year. Or if if there's any that you absolutely desperately want yes. us to dye, just yeah. drop us a message because we can do it. Absolutely. We're just we're not going to put the colourway on the no. website. No. So if you desperately wanted one of any of those colours. Yes. Yeah, not a problem. Yes. So, but every time we've done one, Facebook and Instagram, which surprises me because yeah. I thought we had similar people on both. No, no. I mean, because I've looked, like you can see the statistics and who people are. There, it yeah. is, there are some that overlap, but there are people that just do Instagram and there are people who just do yeah. Facebook. Yeah. yeah. So really strange. Yeah. Really strange. Yeah. But um, I'll get it dyed this weekend. I'll get it dyed over the weekend. Um just, be, just before I, d- I forget as well, um, the afternoon tea is for August. Um, if you want to book, you need to be getting your um, bookings in because with it being an evening one, we do need to give them a little bit more notice than we normally do with the um, with the afternoon ones. Yes. Um, because it's staffing, you know, having extra staffing on, on an evening. So if you do want to, you really need to get your bookings in so that we can let them know. I think Please. we have- Weeks on Tuesday. Yeah, it's only two weeks away, and we have got a few bookings, and that's the one that's on it um, on an evening. So yes, yeah. yeah, yeah, two weeks on Tuesday. It will be here before we know it. It'd be nice if the weather's nice, won't it? But we say that every time, don't we? And I mean, it yeah. could be anything, couldn't it? Who knows? It, Who it knows? could be. It could be. And then, and then it'll be. So we'll have the afternoon tea, and then before we know it, it'll be Yarndale and. Before we know it, it'll be the next afternoon tea in September. Yeah, then it'll be Yarndale. Then it'll be um, October, we move into Bakewell. And then it'll be birthdays, afternoon teas, Christmas retreat, Santa Claus coming down the chimney. Back Christmas in 2023. Tea. Christmas afternoon tea. Yeah. I know. It is. We've just started looking at our diaries for next year, and it's not funny. No, it isn't, is it? No. 
because we were looking because this uh, um oh, I've got a squirrel on my fence got a little baby squirrel um where are you going Mr Nutkins you're going to eat the berries off me bush um so yeah it is because we've been looking haven't we because there's a new show coming out at um that Carol's running isn't she because we won't be able to do Buxton because it's been moved to March and that's when we've got our retreat on so yeah. it's the same weekend so we won't be able to do Buxton but there's a new show that's in June sometime end of June isn't it 18th it's the week after Wool Monty potentially oh it is yes yeah so we were like looking at our diaries like fitting different things in and we were yeah it's going to be we'd a have, we'd, if we did it if we apply for it we've got two shows back to back weekend and then the following weekend, we've got the retreat. And I've got work in between all of that. So, yeah. yeah. Not it's good. Not, yeah. not, but you know what? Let's forget that. Let's get everything out. Yeah. This year, yeah. first. Yes. There's plenty to, plenty to do. I think that's why the year keeps running away from us, because no. there's always something that's not yeah, far yeah. away. So is anybody going to the um, Summer Wool Festival this weekend, which is what used to be Fiber East, isn't it? Yes. Um, yeah. Same venue anyway. It's not run by the same people, but it's the... No, um, it's the same, same venue. venue. I think sure, it's going it? to have, looking at it, I think it's going to have a very similar feel to Fiber yes. East. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, um, yeah. There's a lot of vendors. There's some, yeah. you know, the list of vendors. <laughs> Really it's good. A fairly big, it used to be a fairly big show, didn't it? Because yes. there was all the um, all inside the buildings. Yeah, and there was quite a lot outside in Marquis, wasn't there? Yeah, um, which yeah. is fantastic, unless it's absolutely boiling or absolutely piddling down. Yes. Well, looking at it this weekend, I think you're going to be all right because it's going to be warm but not really sunny and no rain forecast. Rachel's going. Oh, nice. Because I did see. Um, Rachel and now we um, knit and natta page, and because Kath's down there with Wensley Dale Longwall, yeah. she stopped, she's down yeah. there. So, yeah. um, Ooh, we'll have a good show then, yeah. It should be good. Um, right, let me. I've got one, I have got one cast on following on from our Wednesday night knit and natta, okay. Because Victoria had so the um. Yes, because this jumper came from the fright, came from Wednesday, not Thursday, was it? It was Wednesday. Well, I think when you said that, but I yeah, thought no, I it's me. Something. Yeah, sorry. So the sequence of events was I watched Becky from Back to Blighty knit the campsite poncho and thought, I'm going to knit that. So I knit that. And then Marjorie cast one on. Yeah. And then Victoria had seen it and she's cast, she'd cast on the campsite cardigan. Yes. Which she was knitting at the retreat. And then on Wednesday night, she showed as it was finished. And it yes. looks really nice. Yes. So I thought, I am going to cast on. I've got a, I bought enough wool for a jumper last year. <laughs> cardigan. And at that point, Kathy said, oh, I've knit the campsite shawl. Then we started looking at a Ravelry page and she's got, a lot of patterns and they're all beautiful patterns so I went from casting on the campsite cardigan pattern to the campsite shawl mm. I mean really because it was the free pattern that was the that was the thing that drew me to it and we all got carried away didn't we we all just went everybody was sat just going oh 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 Mind paying for patterns because I do pay for patterns, but it was free and I thought yeah. well, free. So it's double knit, and I don't other than using what I want to use for a cardigan. So I am now talk about using odds and sods. I've got a skein that is completely knotted that Marie chucked at me and said sort it out. One that split on the machine, so I got chucked at me. So um, I'm going with that. Yes. It should be done in a solid colour, but I'm going to do that. Ooh, Dominique and colours. And that. Dominique colours, if ever there was. Well, it's exactly. Lovely. 
So, because that has got... All of it in, that's beautiful. The teal and the olive. Yeah. So, um, so that's what I cast on. So I cast on with the half of, the other half of that. I mean, you can look at that. It's, it's just snapped at some point. Um, that was so, on the machine. I think it just, it just, is that the one you mean? Yes. Yeah. yeah. It just, it just it, snapped, snapped yeah. and... Um, I think it got stuck and it, the machine kept pulling and pulling and pulling and I obviously wasn't there. But, you know... My post. I'm in the I, getting on my nerves. chucked up because this is clearly going to be an enormous, uh, an enormous shawl because I know it's double knit. Yeah. But it's 345 grams. Uh-huh. So... Oh, yeah, that's huge. That is... But that doesn't look very big. I mean, I don't I don't even need to have to cover this up really, do I? Because it's a free pattern. Oh. But look at the size of it. Like, oh my I, life. It's like gonna be like another poncho. Well, I just thought it's just gonna be like a big hug because it's done in double knit. So I'm going to um I'm just gonna like I've done with the Summer Sorrel, going from one to the other, I'm going to use that formula. Not that it's much of a formula. So I've just started with the olive, and that's as far as I've got. Yeah, looks nice. I've just, I've just got to the end of that that's snap really. ball. So I've spent this morning, because you know what I'm like, It's it. there's four charts, and it's like, do chart one twice and then rows one to whatever do chart two yeah. one plus rows one so i have just written out all my rows and what color i'm using oh, God, because you can't i know what rows i need to change on but i have no idea what what row that is in the pattern right. yes. suddenly, you know row 50 yeah, yeah is yeah. the row 17 on chart two or whatever. Yes. So, you've done um, oh. so I've done myself a little chart, just so I'm not using the same weight of yarn, but I've got the same number, the bands are the same. Yes, yes, yeah. So with some transition. Um, so that's, that's what I've cast on. But oh, of course, really? that suddenly, Already, I forget, you know. So the multicolored one that you're using, where's that from? Because that's really, but it looks, you've obviously shown us it before because it does look familiar, but where's it from? It was bought at the same time as your um, Moons on Jupiter or whatever it's yeah. called. It's third fault yarns. Ah, oh, I thought it is really pretty. Yeah. It's very third nice. fault yarns that what we it, bought at Yarndale. What's it called? Um, I think it's called a New York egg or a New Yosh egg, but that makes no sense to me. Makes no sense to me. So it's either York, but it looks more like a New York, York egg. H. Might mean something to somebody else, but. Because all hers are quite. Um, They're all to do with. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, that's the word I was looking for. It might be a New Yosh egg or a New York egg. Um, a New Yosh egg. There's 115 grams in that, um, but I only bought one. Yes, so it's I, a Yoshi egg from, um, yeah, is it? it is. It is, it's your, so it's a New it Yosh egg. So I just thought, do you know what? Oh, I'm, no, no, that's Yoshi, so it can't be. I bet it's New York. I'm going on New York now. You keep talking. So, you know, I'm going to, that's going to take me a little while to untangle. But I just thought, why not use what I've got? Yes. So, hang on, let me just, because I can just see what you've done. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is how I get, this is how I get when it's gone wrong. I get something like this chucked at me. 
Uh, and Marie's just put a thing in where it started to go wrong and just gone. <laughs> what I've done is I've taken it off carefully off the machine and just tied something around it so at least it's not in a complete nutter mess. But yeah, that's how Dominic gets them. I mean, what, what else do you expect from me? Having said that, I am only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. I only, I've only got 11 more rows to do, so I might... Just go into that. That one. Yeah, just go into that and just fling that other one somewhere else. No, it'll... Because it's, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just no. a angle. It's just in and a it, bath. It's been left like that for a long time, so I thought, well, let's let's get it out. Yeah. And that... I've got so much of that... Yes. I can afford to use 100 grams of it for this yeah. and still do a... Um, campsite cardigan in it when I get round to it and that is just so pretty so that is I am really resisting like I have done in the past having too many projects on the go because then you just don't do anything yeah so that's going to look good though yeah it's going to be enormous so you can wear your campsite poncho with your camp campsite Campside cardigan and then wrap up in your shawl. You won't need to put heating on. You'll you'll be you'll be oh, perfectly fine. I definitely won't need this. Is like we were saying yesterday morning. This is how we're all how all knitters and crochets are going to stay warm. We're getting a big refund now. We're going to get a big refund, I reckon. Um, I am. I'm not even a quarter of the way through yet. It is going to be enormous. It is. It's going to be huge. And because you're a loose knitter as well, it's going to be massive. It is. Well, I did look. I stopped looking because there were too many numbers. But we're getting into the more than 350 stitches, which... Oh, my life. For sure, for me, is... A double knit as well, that's a lot of... That is a lot of stitches. You're bordering on Stephen Westism there. Well, I'm bordering on, I should have looked at that before I got carried away, but it's cast on now, so let's see how long we go. Um, already the I'm on 150 something and I'm getting bored with the how long it takes me to knit the rows. But oh we'll, we will see. I think once I get get an into colour. Yeah, get a colour change. Yes. Yeah. That's gonna help me. Because it should obviously all be done in one colour, but I don't have 350 grams. I mean, I can damage some for you if you need another, you know, it's quite easy. I, I can just look at it. I'll just look at it and go, Ooh, it'll just turn into a bath and you can have it. So I am just going to go round and round on my jumper. And then when I get bored on that, knit a few rows on the shawl. And then when I get bored, I'll switch between the two. Um, but yeah, we went down an Alicia Plummer yes. wormhole and she has some beautiful, beautiful yes. patterns. So yeah. Yeah. Um, to choose from. Just the, just the way Victoria put the card, you know, just the way it, it, it hung beautiful, didn't it? It was yeah. a really nice pattern. Yes. Um, yeah, really nice. It just yeah. like a comfortable but um, pretty cardigan. Yes. Yeah. So let's see how much we've got done on yeah. that next week but in um, august in august it'll be august next i know i know i'm just catching up um sorry i thought you'd like the new mild cardigan by stephen west I thought, that that old. I thought that was an old one he'd done is that the mild mania jumper but a cardigan version. I thought it was a. I thought he'd already done like the mild mini cardigan. Unless it's a different one. It must be. Rachel said she's thinking about the mild cardigan. I mean that mild mania jumper. I love. I've got two of now, and we were talking on Knit and Natter about. Well, no. Yeah, there. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. It's a stash bust. Oh, look. Well, that was the mild mania was. No, not for yeah, me. I knew she was going to say that as soon as as soon as I picked it up. I knew. Only she was because going. I would never wear that shape. 
The Garter Marla cardigan is coming later this week. Wow. But we were talking about what we were doing with our advents and things like that. And I did the Mild Mania in my December Detectives last year, and I absolutely love yeah. it. And I am tempted to do another Mild Mania in this year's. I, I think a cardigan, for me, I have a cardigan that I just wear open. Yes, I, I yeah. Like the campsite cardigan, it's yeah. not one that buttons yeah. up. I just wouldn't wear it. Yeah. No, I'm like that with the Sunday cardigans. They're just like throw over. So Claire's saying it's two strands of floor, floor ply throughout. So it, it's done like the Mild Mania yeah. jumper. And that was Stash Buster. And yeah. my first one I did was all Stash Buster and it was brilliant. Yeah. It's so, what he's, he's shown it as because he's got pictures of it with um, like loads of different yarns. Yeah. It is a, it is a great way of doing it. Yeah. yeah. Um, really good way. Yeah. Well, if you start it, Rachel or Claire, Let's see some photos. Yes. You know, we're always all looking for ways to stash yeah. busting what we've got in our own little stashes at home. I don't know what's happened to the chat, but I've lost the chat. But there you go. Uh-oh. 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 Don't know what's happened to it. It's gone. Disappeared. Can you see it still? I I still see it, yeah. yeah. So it's not me, I haven't deleted it. No, I can still see it, it's there. Yeah, so. yeah it, is, it does look a really good way of using up your stash, doesn't it? Yes. Um, yeah. So, but I've got, that's, that's me, that's all my knitting. I don't really, I say this, don't I? I? No, I'm not planning on casting anything else on because now I've got this jumper, my rocket tee to finish and my blanket. So that's me happy. Well, I definitely wasn't casting anything on because I wanted no, I wasn't. to on my summer sorrel. Otherwise, that's going to get left like my After the Rain jumper that's still in the bag that needs to come out. I, I was looking for something because with casting these off, I knew that I needed something else or else I'd just sit and do a blanket, which I'm quite enjoying. Um, so I am pleased that I'm finally getting around to using those double knits up. Yes. But I've still got in that stash from things I bought that year another two double knits to get rid of as well. It is, it's just finding the right pattern, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, so yeah. I'm like, because Claire said she's adding it to the list. She's yeah. adding it to her list. Look out for the photos in a couple of years' time. <laughs> well, we're all like that, Claire, because Wednesday night I was all, I went and got the wool. I was all ready to cast the cardigan on, saw the shawl. The shawl's going to take me forever. By the time I finish the shawl and think, then I'll cast the cardigan on, Someone else will have put flashed something in front of me and my attention will be drawn to that. So we're all as bad as each other. We so also mean, the damn rabbit holes, but so you mean that it won't be will you won't be showing this at the retreat then, Claire? Is that what you're trying to say? You won't be wearing it. Yeah, I mean you just never know, Claire. You might have it by then. No, you might just be on it. You might just or be on it. You might bring it in a project bag ready to cast on just in case. Exactly. Exactly. Oh dear. Right, that is. Well, that's me done. I've got nothing else. Yeah. Well, that is that. Them two projects are big projects for me, and they're going to keep me busy. I've not work has been manic, so I've not even done any lunchtime knitting on my socks. So they've got no further on with them at all. So. so don't yeah. forget, if you do want to come to afternoon tea, probably next week is going to be the realistic cut off for letting letting Hemswell know so you've got a week really to book into that if you want to come for um, the this one that is this one um and um all the Christmas advents have gone so sorry about that there's no more Christmas advents um so you're very lucky the ones that have got them I don't think there's anything else is there I don't think there is Claire's not started the Gaudi Cardi from last year's retreat yet well Claire that after the rain was from last July's retreat so you know yeah there's plenty of time yeah it does time bag on wool it doesn't go out of date you find no. there's bags of time so that's it well the Commonwealth Games have started so there's plenty of things to be watching for people to be watching yeah. and 
The English Football League starts tonight, so that's back. And the 100 starts next Wednesday, so yeah. that's my summer sorted. Yeah. So. Perfect. And I'll yeah. be battling through the traffic in Birmingham, through the Commonwealth Games traffic on Sunday. Yeah, but there's not, because there's very little of it in the city centre. I know, but they have got a lot of stuff going on in the city centre. They have? Yeah. You just put it on because they the studio is in the middle. Yeah, it's really not busy. Oh, good. It's the roads getting in. That's what I'm more, you know. But anyway, it'll be yeah. what it'll be, won't it? Yeah. So, yes. Enjoy. Have a good weekend, everybody. Yes. And um, we'll see you next week. Yes, we'll see you next week. Hopefully, I'll be able to see better next week. My eyes are 